Tuesday, March 5th, 2024 Written by Lucy Wanijuru The first time I got a phone, I was so excited to join Facebook. I was hoping to connect with old friends and possibly get job opportunities. After a few weeks of being on Facebook, I realized it was affecting me negatively. All the people we were friends with while young were posting about how progressive they had become. I admired them and even tried to reach out to them, but they could not seem to help. I wondered why they were ignoring me, and yet many of them knew my story. But I later came to realize that most people live a fake life on social media. People post their photos with hashtag blessed because according to them, they measure being blessed by material things. Before God blessed me with an epileptic child, I also counted material things as real blessings. We all admire to have a good life where we do not have to struggle for food, shelter, or clothes. When I gave birth to my son, my perspective towards life changed. Every day that my son is alive, I count myself blessed. Doctors had told me that he had a maximum of two years to live. After the two years, we started living each day at a time. Every minute that passes, I count as a blessing. And that is what Psalms 84 is teaching us. Psalms 84, verses 11 through 12. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those whose walk is blameless. Lord Almighty, blessed is the one who trusts in you. Blessed are those who praise God, who find their strength in trusting him. I always look back and reflect on the past. My journey has been painful and full of obstacles. The people I expected would help me failed. And when I came to a point where I thought this was the end, God gave me a new beginning. If you put your hope in God, he will never fail you, and blessed you shall be. Second Chronicles chapter 29, verse 11 My sons, do not be negligent now, for the Lord has chosen you to stand before him and serve him, to minister before him and to burn incense. My life has been full of challenges as a queer Christian, but I choose to forget the past and move forward. God has chosen us to serve in different capacities, and we should be very careful not to neglect our calling. It was hard to accept that my child was differently abled. I lived in denial, praying for him to heal. But today I can post my son and say, hashtag blessed. God gave me enough grace to realize that it is a very big responsibility I was given to look after my son, and I will always do it without a murmur. Dwelling in the Lord's presence, trusting each step of the way, is what makes me alive.